people, no, you can't have that. It's too expensive. We understand how to work together as a team because we're mothers, and we really are head of households. <laughs> I have no doubt that with the women that are present on city council, that the representation will be heightened. The city will benefit and we will be able to do some transformational things. And women just have a unique way of cultivating relationships. And I think that if we work collaboratively, there's nothing we can't do together. The nine female city council members includes the winner of District B. That race, however, is still contested. There are three women who received the highest votes. The woman in third, however, is suing, saying that candidate number two should not be in the runoff election and should have never been on the ballot because of her criminal history. A judge is expected to make a ruling on the issue by spring. In downtown Houston, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News. All right, we are watching.